Question 26 says, an equiconvex lens of power P is cut into three parts, A, B and C as shown in the figure. Choose the incorrect statement. First statement, power of A is P. Dear students, this is a correct statement because both the radius of surfaces remain same. So hence the power or the focal length would remain same. Second, the power of B is P by 4. Dear students, B has a shape like this. In this particular case, the power is reduced by half and hence option number 2 is incorrect statement. Please note that we have to actually find out the incorrect statement only. Now try to analyze option number 3 which says power of C is P by 2. Dear students, the power of B and C would be same and equal to P by 2 which means option number 3 is correct statement. Fourth, power of B plus C is P. Dear students, B plus C are identical length as A and therefore this is also a correct statement. And hence option number 2 is the answer for this question as it mentions an incorrect statement which we have to identify. Now dear students, let us proceed to the question number 27. Question 27 says refraction of plane wavefront as per Huygens principle are shown in the figures. Figure 1 indicates refraction from air to glass and figure 2 indicates refraction from air to water. In terms of lengths indicated in the figures, the refractive index of glass with respect to water is. Dear students, in first case, the refractive index of glass can be written as velocity of wave in air by velocity of wave in glass. If you multiply up and down with T, this will be equal to B1 by D1. That is this length by this length. Similarly, the refractive index of water will be equal to B2 by D2. The students, we have to find out the refractive index of glass with respect to water. That will be mu G by mu W. And this will be equal to B1 D2 by B2 D1. And hence, option number 2 is the correct answer. Now let us solve the question number 28. Question 28 says, a block of mass m is kept on a rough horizontal surface of coefficient of friction mu. If a horizontal force of magnitude mu mg by 2 is applied to the block, then the contact force between the block and the horizontal surface will be. It is given that mu is equal to 1. Dear students, let us draw a diagram to understand the situation. There is a block on the surface and if a force of mu mg by 2 is applied, which is equal to mg by 2, the block would remain at rest because the maximum frictional force in this particular case is mu mg that will be equal to mg. Now dear students, in this particular case the frictional force acting on the block will be equal to mg by 2 and the normal force due to the ground will be equal to the weight and it will be equal to mg. We have to find out the resultant of these two forces and that will be equal to under root of mg square plus mg by 2 square which will be equal to root 5 by 2 mg and hence option number 3 is the correct answer. Now let us solve the question number 29. Question 29 says find the potential difference between points A and B in part of a circuit as shown in the figure. The current in arm AB is steady and has a value of 2 ampere. Dear students, since the current in the arm is steady, there will be no potential drop across the given inductor of 4 milli henry. Using the Kirchhoff's voltage law, we can write down that Va minus 2 into 6, that is the potential drop across the 6 ohm resistance, minus 10, plus 20, minus 2 into 4 will be equal to Vb, which means Va minus Vb will be equal to 10 volts. And hence, option number 1 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number 30. Question number 30 says, consider the network of current carrying wires as shown in the figure. The value of current I is. Dear students, as per the Kirchhoff's current law, the total incoming current should be equal to total current which is outgoing. The total incoming current will be equal to 2 plus 6 plus I plus 1. That is this current, this current and this current. And this will be equal to outgoing current that is 10 plus 2. So dear students, I on solving turns out to be equal to 3 ampere and therefore option number 2 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number 31.